Okay. We've been out in the garden and it's what? Early December? 10th of the 11th. Of the, of the 11th. And uh, look, little Australian bluebells are coming out. They bloom, they'll be blooming for the next couple of months, I think. Aren't they lovely? It's what we call bluebells in Australia. We, we don't have the bluebells of Scotland, we have the bluebells of Australia, and they're lovely little things. And yes, aren't they lovely? Look at their leaves. Can you get a good look at them, sort of? Have a good look at them and let it be impressed upon your mind, indelibly on your mind, so that when you're out in the field, out in the Australian bush, you'll never starve because you'll know what the Aborigines knew. Aren't they lovely? And there's Jay and Bluebells. Here we go. Mm. You can eat the flowers. I don't know about the leaves anyway. You can eat the flowers. The Aboriginals ate them. Isn't it pretty? Gorgeous. They're nice. They don't have any specific sort of flavour. <laughs> but they're nice, uh, a little addition to one's uh, food. Let's read about them in Wild Food in Australia by A. B. and J. W. Cribb. Hmm. Page 163. There's an old dried one from 20 years ago. Look, see, I am a bit of a collector. Oh, it's a Wallenbergia. W. A. H. L. E. N. B. E. R. G. I. A. Wallenbergia. Australian bluebell. Where's my microphone? An anthropologist working amongst Australian Aborigines in the early decades of the century was delighted one day to meet an Aborigine coming back to camp carrying a large bunch of the Australian bluebell. How nice, she exclaimed. Are those for your Mary? And was somewhat dashed at the reply of, No, I'm going to eat them. The Australian bluebell, with its delicate sky-blue flowers, is one of the best-known wildflowers. It is, too. It's used in Australian wildflower art, like in May Gibbs's beautiful wildflower art. But though there are several species, all have the same general appearance and can be easily recognised. They are similar to the bluebells of Scotland, rather than English species, which is quite unrelated. Flavour of the bluebells is very mild. Yes, they don't they don't have a strong flavour like celery or anything like that. But the attractive appearance makes them them worth using in salads. Flowers wilt rather easily, so it is necessary to include other moist ingredients with them. Distribution: some species in all states. Well, yes, a bit of salad dressing. But I like borage flowers too. Borage are beautiful flowers. These flowers too, you could decorate drinks with. Not just salads. You could you know, like violet flowers or borage flowers, you can uh, use them in salads or use them in drinks or candy them and use them uh, for cake decorations. Anyway, that's what some wild food in Australia. It's always good to know these things. Well, this is a lucky find. This is some little Australian native bluebells. It's not anything like the uh, Scottish bluebell. It's not even a uh, I don't think it's not even bulbous like they are. These are edible. The Aborigines eat them. I've eaten them. My boyfriend's eaten them. My mother's, my mother's eaten them. They're nice in salads or just as they are. I won't eat these yet until I find uh, some... Uh, if there are more growing around the yard. I haven't seen them for a while. But it's nice to see them back again. Beautiful little native wildflower. It's often depicted, I think, in May Gibbs's floral art. The sun's shining brightly on them, but they're, they're, they're a bit more bluer. A bit of shadow. <laughs> that's nicer, isn't it, with a bit of shadow on them? Oh, that, well, that's nice, huh? I'm being eaten by mosquitoes, by, <laughs> by the way, as well. That's what they look like. Aren't they beautiful? Edible flowers. You just pick them and eat them, just as they are, or put them in a salad. I think I'll try and take a couple more close-ups. Anyway, have a good look at them. Have a good look at them because this is what native bluebells look like. The little native bluebells. And um, I can't, they're fairly small so I can't get the camera to go too close to them. 
apparently. They're only tiny. That's what they look like. Yes, pretty little things. And that's what they look like in the sun. But they are blue, they're gorgeous. Let's have a look at the leaves now. Get some of these other plants out of the way. That's what the uh, leaves look like. You want to be able to identify them? That's what the leaves look like. Let's just have a look. There are the leaves. Long. I'm not a botanist, so I wouldn't know the terms to describe them, except vaguely. It's growing amidst other plants, but that's what the leaves look like. I should try and get a close-up of the leaves. Hang on. Well, that's what they look like anyway. That seems to be the best I can do at the moment, of, as far as a close-up is concerned. That's the leaves there, between my fingers. That's what the leaves look like. Let's go back to the flowers for a bit. Where are they? There they are. Quite long little stems they have. Pretty little thing. Edible. It's nice to remember. If you're going to eat them, if you're in Sydney, for example, going along the roadside, you don't want to eat them where there's been lots of car exhaust, spurting lead, lead compounds all over them. Oops, here comes a helicopter. Looking at the flood. Anyway, there are the leaves. And they're beautiful. They grow in summer, I think, yes. They bloom in summer. So, that's an important time. Look how blue they are. Yes, just let the image soak into your mind so that when you're out in the bush or somewhere you'll know what to eat. In an emergency. Beautiful emergency food. So beautiful. Australian bluebells, edible food.